Hi everyone, this is Don Grimm. In this video, I'll describe the key differences between policy year, calendar year, and accident year. Let's jump right in. Before we define each of the terms, we're going to review a helpful diagram. Once you understand this simple diagram, the definition of the various terms will be much clearer. Along the x-axis is the date, and along the y-axis is the percent of premium earned, beginning at zero and extending to 100%. Let's populate the x-axis with some arbitrary dates. We're going to start by looking at an example for a single 12-month policy. Suppose the policy was written on January 1st, 2024. The premium is earned uniformly over time and is represented by a straight line extending from January 1st to December 31st of 2024. At the earlier date, the policy is 0% earned, and at the latter date, it is 100% earned. Next, consider another 12-month policy written on December 31st of 2024. It can be represented by a line extending from December 31st, 2024 to December 30th of the following year. Notice that both policies were written in calendar year 2024. January 1st and December 31st, respectively. However, collectively, premiums related to the policies are earned over a two-year period between January 1st, 2024 and December 30th of 2025. This is an important insight and leads us to our definition of a policy year. A policy year represents a 12-month period during which premium is written. A typical policy year extends over 24 calendar months. Now let's consider an insurance company that writes hundreds of policies throughout calendar year 2024. They would be represented in our diagram with a parallelogram like this one. This area represents the earned premium related to policies written in calendar year 2024. The policies written in calendar year 2023 can be represented similarly. Let's discuss calendar year. In the context of earned premium, a calendar year is any 12-month period during which premium is earned. In this diagram, the premium earned during a calendar year is represented by a square. Consider calendar year 2024. The earned premium for calendar year 2024 it's composed of premium from policy year 2023 and policy year 2024. The actual amount of earned premium can be calculated based on the written premium and the dates of the underlying policies. In many applications, actuaries assume that premium is written uniformly throughout the year. This assumption allows calendar year earned premium to be estimated based on less information. For example, if $1 million of premium was written in 2023 and $1.2 million was written in 2024, we can estimate the earned premium for calendar year 2024 as 50% of 1 million and 50% of 1.2 million, which equals 1.1 million. We can use this estimation technique to calculate other calendar periods such as the first calendar quarter of 2024. Notice that the majority of the earned premium for this calendar quarter relates to policy year 2023. We can use basic geometry to determine that policy year 2023 contributes 730 seconds of its earned premium to the first calendar quarter of 2024, while policy year 2024 contributes only 130 seconds. Calculating this weighted average results in an earned premium estimate of 256,250 for the first calendar quarter of 2024. This type of approach can be used to estimate earned premium for any calendar period. Okay, we've described the difference between policy year and calendar year, but how about accident year? An accident year is any 12 month period during which accidents occur. An accident year is another name for a calendar year, 
but specifically for loss. Earned premium can be expressed in terms of policy year or calendar year. Losses can be expressed in terms of policy year or accident year. For more detail on accident year versus calendar year losses, see the video captioned above. Let's look at the relationship between policy year and accident year. This relationship is analogous to the one between policy year and calendar year we described for premium. We can use our existing diagram to explore this topic further, but first we need to change the y-axis from percent of premium earned to portion of policy exposed to loss. Note that premium is earned as a policy is exposed to loss. For this reason, our diagram can represent either premium or loss, depending on how we define the y-axis. Consider accident year 2024. This accident year includes only those losses with accident dates in calendar year 2024. This definition is straightforward and does not require a diagram. However, if we want to better understand the relationship between accident year loss and policy year loss, the diagram is quite useful. For example, we can see that accident year 2024 is composed of losses from policy year 2023 and policy year 2024. This relationship is useful when losses need to be converted between accident year and policy year basis. Here's a quick example. Consider a claim with a date of loss of July 1st, 2024. Losses related to this claim would be reflected in accident year 2024. However, the claim could be related to policy year 2023 or policy year 2024, depending on the date of the underlying policy. Let's end with one last takeaway. When comparing losses to premium, be sure the bases are consistent. Policy year loss versus policy year earned premium or accident year loss versus calendar year earned premium. Other comparisons may not be meaningful, such as comparing policy year loss to calendar year earned premium. Questions or comments? Let me know in the comment section below and be sure to visit us at archeractuarial.com. Thanks for watching.